Hey, yeah, it's a beautiful day. It's January 1st, 2022. It is New Year's Day, and I'm at Kelso Park where we normally have at least 10 inches of snow at this time of year. At least. Um, some years have been 20 inches by now, but almost never has it been less than 10 by this time of year. Except the last couple of years when it's been less and less until, as you can see here, there is no snow. There's no snow. Hmm. Why is that? We always have snow here at this time of year, and we don't have it. Now, if global climate change was a real phenomenon, we would have an explanation for why there's no snow in Kelso and an explanation for why there are wildfires in California and most of Australia, and for why the American Southwest and the Middle East are both in the midst of a 30-year drought. Yeah, 30 years plus of grossly inadequate rainfall. Yeah, something to think about. So we're having disastrous weather all over the world. And the oil companies are saying, oh, there's no such thing as global climate change. But here's the fun part. The big American oil companies who are financing all these politicians to say there's no such thing as climate change. These are the same oil companies that in the 1950s released a memo that said that, yes, our excessive reliance on fossil fuels will cause such environmental degradation that the earth may be rendered uninhabitable by the end of the 21st century. But we'll all be dead by then, so it doesn't matter. Wow. So yes, that's capitalism. A bunch of people who are willing to destroy the world because by the time it gets wrecked, they'll already be dead. They'll have made their billions of dollars, and they'll have already died. So they won't have to live through the hell that they've created. What about their children, their grandchildren, their great-grandchildren, their great-great-grandchildren? Well, none of them thought that far ahead, and they still refuse to think that far ahead. Why? Because that requires acknowledging the fact that there is a future. And let's face it, in capitalism, the future is three months down the road, the next quarter, the next quarter, the next quarter. That's it. That is the whole future government and democracy, it's the next election cycle. Nobody thinks about the next generation, the next ten generations. Because capitalist democracy thinks short term. Quarters and elect election cycles. That's it. <clears throat> so they're willing to make their money now, grab the money and run, and leave all you people who believe them, holding the empty bag. Absolutely. I can't say that I feel sorry for you, although I do feel sorry for your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren, because they will have to suffer for your decision. They will have to suffer for your choices. But as you can see, it's already started. The changes have come, and they're not going to go away. Global climate change is a very real phenomenon, and the oil companies may have been off by a few years in their estimations, but they were bang on with a certain knowledge that they would never have to deal with it because they would all be dead. That's what kind of people we're dealing with leaving the next generation to clean up their mess. Capitalist democracy. Absolute fucking joy. Anywho, ta-ta, take care, be well, stay safe. Love yous.